There are some bugs in our applications that really only surface when the application is under load. Fortunately, there are some tools that help us automate that type of testing. Let's mash on that. Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of the ASP Net Monsters. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at load testing with artillery. All right, so this, this is something that came up at work the other day and we had this bug that just, like, it was nearly impossible to reproduce. It happened very infrequently, but when it did, it was like a severe crash that would happen. So uh, I was I was having a hard time reproducing it locally, but had a hunch that maybe it had to do with us uh, concurrently accessing the view bag, uh, information on the view bag across multiple threads. Not in a way that was quite as obvious as what I've written here, uh, but this was just something to help identify that that was actually the bug. Um, but even then, when I was running it locally, it was still hard to to test and and show that this was what was happening. Uh, but if I if I run this just as an example here, so the app runs and it's fine. It returns results every time I I refresh the page. And the idea is if I increase this um, number of threads, essentially that it's it's running. Uh, I'm more. I should see the bug, but even here, I hit refresh, and it's. It's. I'm still not getting the bug. So that's where I thought it'd be good if I set up more of a, a load test type of uh, scenario here, where I can throw more load at it and see how it behaves under load when more requests are are being thrown at it. So after doing a little bit of searching, uh, I came across our artillery, and it's pretty pretty good little tool to to do these types of quick tests and also has uh, a good, not language, but a good uh, configurations uh, concepts to allow you to do more complex tests, which we'll get into later, but. That can be a language. Just yeah, I guess so. Domain specific language. Yeah, that I guess that's what it is. Yeah, good point. Um, so all it took for this one was to do a quick test and we'll just look at that scenario. So I have this running, I'm gonna, run it again without the debugger attached. I'll just copy that URL. So what I want to do here, if you don't have it installed, it's installed through npm. So you just do npm install artillery dash g to install it globally, which I've already done. So I have artillery here. Just to confirm that, I check the version. There's a version that I have installed. Oh, wow, what have I done? CLS. Okay, so to run a quick test with artillery, we simply do artillery quick. I give it a count of the number of users. So I'm gonna say, give it 10 users, have each of those users send 20 requests and send those requests over to this URL. And that's it, now I can run that. And it spins it up for me runs really quick in this case because my app isn't doing a whole lot and we get the, the uh, summary here saying that all 10 scenarios, so all 10 users passed and that we got 200, uh, 200, 200 results uh, because we, we sent out 200 requests in total. So, so this is just running worked. locally, right? Yeah, everything's running okay. locally here. So this isn't, uh, like if you're trying to do like load testing at scale where you're trying to split this across um, a distributed set of servers. That's kind of a different scenario that you would okay. use Artillery Pro for. This is more just like very simple uh, local testing that gives you at least an idea of how your application is running. I feel like they missed an opportunity there. Like Artillery Pro should be called like Artillery Division. <laughs> anyway. You're right. This is, uh, I don't know, you should have a maybe a second career in marketing, Simon. <laughs> Yeah, that's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's right up there with Simon and HR as a second career. Yep. So just to test out my theory, I set n equal to two here and I suspected that I would start to see errors. And in fact, I do. Mm -hmm. So in this case, I have seven of them that failed. And that seems to be fairly consistent. If I keep running it, I always get errors when when I have more than one thread running at a time. So if I increase it even more, I think I get even more errors, although that's not entirely consistent. Yeah, I'm getting 14 now, or it was more like seven before. 
So what I really liked about this is just how easy it was to do these really quick load tests. And like again, this, this isn't a true load test because everything's running locally on mm -hmm. the same machine here, but uh, you could envision doing a quick load test like this even as part of a release pipeline. Uh, since this is just a command line tool, you, know, you could deploy to your test environment, uh, set it up to do a quick load test, and just make sure that you don't have some serious performance regression on some of your main main pages on the app. And you could do that quite easily without a lot of overhead in terms of defining what what these tests look like. So, yeah, it's really cool. I like that a lot. It's kind of yeah. like it, it's it's perfectly catching these sorts of race conditions. Yeah. Yeah. So there's also with the quick test here, there's other things that we can do. So if we just do artillery quick, you can see some of the other options. So you can tell we did we specified a number of requests for for the user number of users. So we did count in the number of users and then number of requests per users, but you can also do things like set up our rate and have it run for a certain duration. So you can tell it start with you know, 10 users, have more or five more arrive per second and run it for a minute. So hmm. yeah, so we'll look at the, the scripting in a future episode here, but there's lots of options here in terms of handling your authentication and setting up different scenarios. So you do things like set up your warm up scenario and then the follow-up scenarios once your server's warmed up, along with specifying parameters and and uh, request payloads. So overall, I've been happy with the the tool. It's free for, as an open source tool for a lot of really common scenarios. Um, and then you can go pro if you want to do like the distributed workload kind of uh, scenario where you're doing like really intense load testing across a distributed server farm. Uh, one of the, just peeking at some other pieces of this, I was also impressed that you can do WebSocket testing with this. Oh, that's nice. Just something I haven't specifically seen before. But maybe it's just because I wasn't specifically looking for it either. That's it for today. Awesome. Thanks a lot. And for those of you who joined us, remember to like, comment, share, and I don't know, just have a good life. It's really what we're looking for. We'll see everybody next week. Bye. Bye.